Forgive the wrinkly t-shirt, but if you ask a lot of kids nowadays growing up what they want to become when they get older as their job, as their dream career, they'll tell you they want to be a YouTuber, they want to be a creator, they want to be an influencer. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you the top three benefits I found from being a content printer and having now made over $3 million online as a content printer. Because I'm aware that even though you might know what a content printer is, someone who sells ebooks, courses, coaching programs, memberships online using content like this, you still might not be aware of the actual benefits. And humans, you, me, we probably won't take action towards something unless there are clear benefits. The only reason I eat a fruit-based diet is because I know the benefits. The only reason I get to bed on time is because I know the benefits of good sleep. The only reason I exercise is because I know the benefits of exercise. Had I not become aware of these benefits, I would not be doing these things. My life would look drastically different. So in this video, I'm going to expose you to the benefits, the top three benefits of being a content entrepreneur so that you can be like, you know what? Those benefits are incredible. I want some of that for myself. So I'm going to start out with the most obvious one, and that is numero uno, you can work from anywhere. Come on, man. You can work from Switzerland. You can work from Egypt. You can work from Ukraine if they're not being freaking bombed as we speak. RIP Ukrainians who've gotten bombed. You can work from Russia. I worked from Russia last summer. You can work from Brazil and Canada, America, anywhere you want. So personally for me, I like to travel uh, no more than four times a year. I travel quarterly. So I like to work from Dubai. I like to work from America. I like to work from Canada and places like Mexico or Russia or wherever else, like a wild card place. So that's just my flow. I like to travel there based on the best weather. So that's benefit number one. You're not stuck in one freaking location. You can go anywhere and be a digital nomad. You can live out of a backpack and maybe a carry-on if you want. <clears throat> so that's that. That's benefit number one. Pretty obvious, but very freaking cool. You're now no longer tied down to one location. You can make money from anywhere. You don't have to go to a freaking office every day and clock in, clock out. You know, you work from a freaking laptop and your phone anywhere. Benefit number Two, benefit number two is lack of a ceiling. There is no ceiling to your income. Whatever number you want to write down on a piece of paper, you can earn that much money per month. No matter how unrealistic it may seem either. You might think 5K a month is unrealistic, 10K a month is unrealistic, 20K a month is unrealistic, 50K a month is unrealistic, 100K is unrealistic. I once thought all those numbers were unrealistic as well until I exposed myself to a bunch of people who were doing those sort of numbers and now it's just become super obvious. Now if I hit like a 20K a month, I feel like I'm completely going broke because 20K is the absolute baseline, bottom, bare minimum because on average we're doing like 50 to 100 grand a month now. But I've got friends who are doing a million dollars a month. So whatever amount of money you want to make, you can make it. There is no ceiling to your income. Whereas if you have a job, you're capped at whatever they tell you they're going to pay you. Dude, the minimum wage is like, I don't know, $16 an hour or something here in Canada now. It's maybe a little bit less than that in America, whatever. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter what the actual number is of how much money you're making because as a minimum wage worker, even if you're not getting paid your minimum wage, even if you have a, like a top paying career, you're still capped. You're still capped and you can maybe get a little raise. You can maybe get like a 1% raise, maybe a 2% raise. And if you get like a big raise, you move up in the company or whatever, you got a ton of more responsibilities, typically a lot more stress. And it's just still, you're not going to get massively ahead. They're just, they're, you're, you're capped. And so if you, if you don't mind being capped, by all means, get a regular job, but if you don't want a ceiling, you want to be able to make as much money as you freaking want, being a content entrepreneur is probably for you. The third and definitely not the last benefit, but the third benefit I'm going to mention in this video has to do with, drum roll please, ba -ba 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 -ba, your ability to work during your prime time. So when I say work, I mean, it can feel like play. Like what I'm doing right now does not feel like work. I'm just making, making a freaking video. But uh, you can play during your peak time. So I am a morning person. I like to work during the morning. The rest of the day, I like to pretty much just chill. Some people, they love to crush it in the evening time. In the morning is when they do their chilling. Some people work well in the midday. They like to chill in the morning, chill in the evening, work midday. Whatever floats your boat. Different strokes for different folks. You get to work during your peak hours. So you have a flexible schedule. You're not expected to be online at a certain time or put in a certain amount of hours. You just go with your unique flow. Just like how kids operate. Kids are just doing things based on their own unique flow. You used to do it as a kid and then you got put into these 
uh, classrooms and these offices as an adult now and you think that you need to be like a rigid robot and like I need to clock in at this time and clock out at this time and take my 30 minute break. I was at the store yesterday and some guy's like, excuse me, if I take a 30 minute break, um, is, is that paid or unpaid? And I'm like, oh my God, bro, just, it's so sad. It's so sad, but he doesn't know about contentpreneurship. And I was talking to some guy in Dubai as a security guard and I was like, bro, why don't you just make money online? He gets paid two bucks an hour as a security guard in Dubai. And he's like, make money online. He was so confused. He's like, how, how do I do that? So people aren't even aware that you can do it. I don't think there's enough exposure and not enough education out there teaching people that yes, you can be a contentpreneur and here's how to do it. Um, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to let people know that you can be a contentpreneur. These are the benefits. And if you want to become a contentpreneur, here's how to do it. Click the link below. It'll take you to a training that walks you through exactly where I would start if I was going to start again and exactly what I would do to get up to five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month as a contentpreneur with no prior experience. If that's something you want to do, click the link below and get started. Being a contentpreneur for me was an absolute um, pipe dream. Never thought it would actually come true. Now that it has come true, I'm devoting my life to helping other people become a contentpreneur as well so they can escape modern slavery, modern financial enslavement. They can become financially free. So if that's what you want to experience, click the link below. Stop watching this video and go start crushing it as a content printer. Peace out, much love, adios, and sorry again for the wrinkly t-shirt. Bye.